Um, and so Adobe stock, he said, we're, we're a global marketplace. We're reaching millions of Adobe customers around the world. I think um, most of the people watching this right now are at least familiar with the brand Adobe. Most creatives that I know are using Adobe software in one form or another, whether it be Photoshop or Lightroom or PDF, whatever, however you're using Adobe, we've got... If you think about the majority of creators on planet Earth, that's the customer base for Adobe stock. That's that's where the content is getting in front of. And so we sell quite a few different asset types. I can talk about um, just the, some of the most popular ones. Fo photos being the number one most popular asset type that we sell and everybody's allowed to submit those. We accept them in JPEG format. Um, you know, the minimum file size, just four megapixels, which any camera made in the last ever really since digital is capable of producing a camera or a, a file that size you want to submit the maximum file size your camera can produce and i'll talk a little bit more about why that is in just a moment but photos the subject i mean again you think about that global marketplace it's a very diverse group of people buying stock content so that's an equally diverse need for content types and so whatever you love to shoot whatever is available to you there's probably going to be a marketplace for that and so that's what you really want to doing but you want dynamic content that grabs the attention of the viewer we've got millions of files that people are looking through and so just kind of like when you're going through your instagram feed if you're like me you can just be kind of mindlessly scrolling through and then every now and then something boom catches your eye and you stop yeah. and you click on it like who made that what is this that's what you kind of you know what i shoot for anyway no pun intended as a stock contributor i want content that's going to grab people's attention and by doing that i just i want photos that pop i don't want them to look unrealistic or over processed or anything like that i just want to catch the attention of the viewer so photos number one video files um video clips are extraordinarily popular and they're growing in popularity on a daily basis and so we're looking for clips that are just five seconds to 60 seconds long that's the range no audio is required usually unless there's ambient sound like a you know birds chirping or water rushing through the water with no voices or anything if it enhances the video that's okay but otherwise no audio um here's a horizontal video eric i think you mentioned um vertical in a, in a little while ago we're actively seeking vertical video that's high in demand especially for social outlets and whatnot so yeah. vertical video is something if you're capable of producing i recommend you do so i recommend that you create a diverse set of content with each shoot that you do shoot photos shoot video and shoot different compositions shoot wide shoot tight shoot left shoot right shoot up shoot down whatever it is but then so that counts for video too shooting slow motion shooting um you know time lapse or whatever but then flipping the composition of the camera and then vectors and illustrations eric you talked about that um a little bit and so for vector files we take eps ai or svg vectors illustrations would be in jpeg format and so i didn't add a slide for this we're also taking png files with transparent backgrounds i'm not sure if um, wirestock are you guys supporting those at, at currently we, yeah brand? we don't but we are planning to yeah support to support svgs and pngs all kinds of formats yeah it's eps 8 or 10 